मणिपुर प्रदेश कांग्रेस कमिटी प्रेसिडेंट ऑनरेबल एम एल ए श्री के मेघचंद्र सिंह एंड ऑल माई फार लेफ्ट इज फॉर्मर मिनिस्टर ऑफ मणिपुर श्री एन बीरेन सिंह एंड ही इज प्रोफेसर रोमेश ऑफ दिल्ली जे एन यू एंड ऑन माई राइट इज रवि खान ऑफ लीगल सेल ऑफ दी एम पी सी सी नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्रेस अवर व्यूज बिकॉज वी कैम फ्रॉम मणिपुर मोर देन थ्री थाउजेंड किलोमीटर्स एवे एंड वी आर हियर टू आई मीन डिमांड फॉर दी आई मीन पीस एंड रिसोर्स ऑफ नॉर्मल सी इन मणिपुर बट वी आर डिनाइड परमिशन टू होल्ड अवर सी इन डेमोस्ट्रेशन एट जेंटर मेंटर टूडे सो वी डिसाइडेड टू मीट आवर रेस्पेक्टेड फ्रेंड्स ऑफ दी प्रिंट एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया हिया एंड वी कंडेम द एटीट्यूड ऑफ दी एन डी ए गवर्नमेंट लेड बाई श्री मोदी बिकॉज ही डिनाइड द आई मीन परमिशन बिकॉज ही इज अथॉरिटी डिनाइड परमिशन एंड ही कुड नॉट विजिट मणिपुर फॉर द लास्ट टू ईयर्स सो वी ऑल्सो इन्वाइटेड हिम टू विजिट मणिपुर एंड एंड ही हिमसेल्फ आई मीन मिट दी आई डी पी इंटरनेल ली डिस्प्लेस पर्सनजियर बिकॉज थाउजेंड्स ऑफ नियरली वन लाख ऑफ दी डिस्प्लेस पर्सन आर हियर आर दियर एंड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ पीपल वेर किल एंड हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ हाउसेज वेर बन डाउन एंड नाउ दिस आई मीन द प्रोक रॉन्ग आई कंटिन्यूज टिल टूडे एंड वी नेवर थॉट दैट इन आवर लाइफ दैट सच हैपनिंग्स विल बी आई मीन हैपनिंग इन मणिपुर बट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस माल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द डबल इज इन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ बी जे पी लेट गवर्नमेंट वी आर फेसिंग ए लॉट ऑफ एंड वी आर प्रैक्टिकली डिवाइडेड बाई दी बी जे पी गवर्नमेंट वी आर नॉट एलाउड टू गो टू दी आई मीन वेयर कुकी आर आई मीन पॉपुलेटेड एंड कुकीज आर नॉट एलाउड टू इंटर दी मेजे पॉपुलेटेड एरिया सो वी आर फिजिकली डिवाइडेड बाई दिस गवर्नमेंट वी वन the two big the division we won we stand for the unity in tikijo manipur we won uh, to strengthen the movement of the all communities irrespective of caste religion and ethnicity so uh, uh, they, are, they are friends from the i mean print and electronic media our honorable uh, president of mpcc uh, mr k megasandra will i mean uh, address uh, you also uh, on this uh, problem Thank you, my brother K. I. Santa Singh, and also and all my colleagues of uh, India Block Manipur, and friends of friends of media. We are here. We are coming for uh, this proposed sit-in protest there in Janta Manta today. but we repeatedly requested to the authority of this ground for the ground permission but the authority declined to give the ground permission for the proposed for the proposed uh, sit in protest there so uh, in fact it is organized by the india block team of manipur and the there we have around 10 political parties included in the india block manipur but it is very unfortunate that uh, these uh, we cannot do our rights to protest against the present uh, unprecedented turmoil here so uh, we are not able to do our sit in protest here today at delhi so despite of many people come from manipur to delhi for the proposed sit in protest it is very unfortunate that we cannot do our protest here so uh, we cannot do the protest today now even if we, uh, this the authority declined to uh, issue the ground permission our protest our movement will not stop we will uh, demands we will continue our protest 
uh, in different forms. Today also, we are just coming out from the PMO office. We have submitted our memorandum to Prime Minister by our team, Manipur, on behalf of the people of Manipur. This is the letter, this is a copy which we have submitted to the PMO office to the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. And friends, in this memorandum, we are requesting Honorable Prime Ministers of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, to visit once in Manipur. This is the long demand of the entire people of Manipur. And also, all the political parties, whatever they are in Manipur, even the BGP political party, they also demand to visit once they are in Manipur, which have been the continued violence since 3rd of May 2023. So still, we are reminding to visit our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi once they are in Manipur. And also, we are requesting Honorable Prime Ministers, if in case he is very busy, because India is a very vast country, and in case if he is very busy, then Honorable Prime Ministers can invite all the delegates of the political parties of Manipur and even the Honorable MLAs, Ministers, including the BJP MLAs and the Ministers. He never met Honorable Chief Ministers of Manipur. He never met Honorable Ministers of Manipur and also the members, all the members of Manipur. So, and you see, the entire people are suffering. For the last 18 months, is going to complete 19 months. You see, their friends, we are also citizens of India. We, in Manipur, is a part of India. Why is such so much of negligence by the central government continues for the last 18 months? We are also bona fide citizens of India. Why all the time central government and the state government neglecting the, the state of Manipur? You see, with this unprecedented turmoil situation there in Manipur, our civilians, innocent civilians, we are killed. Our innocent civilians of India, they are still in the relief camp. More than 60,000, they are in the relief camps, IDPs, they are still in the relief camp. How long and how far they will be there in the relief camps? And see, more than around say hundreds of people were killed, including the innocent women, innocent babies, innocent people were killed. So how far we have to suffer this situation in this situation? We all the time, the entire people of Manipur ask and the demand honorable prime ministers to bring and restoration of peace and the normalcy there in Manipur. But the thing is that the central government totally neglected the issues of Manipur. Now, what happened is that our state government is directly controlled by the central government by using the face of the chief ministers. It is just like undeclared president rule over there, directly home minister, controlling the, the situations of the state and is still using the face of the chief ministers. This is the present situation. It is more or less the same that 
is the undeclared president's rule. It is prevailing there in the state of Manipur. So it is totally neglected. That is why we feel that the entire people of Manipur feel that this is the negligence of the prime ministers and particularly the central government because honorable prime ministers he never speak on the on the present issues of Manipur. He never visited Manipur. He never invited the political delegates, political parties delegates to his or even to his office. This is what we feel that this is totally neglected by the central government and the state government is totally just like a paper tiger. You know, such peoples are still suffering. We are under these situations that the all the national highway is also blocked. Whatever we have national highway, we have these uh, three national highway that is also uh, this also uh, blocked since May 2023, and the, the required essential commodities are also not getting enough. And also, whatever we get the essential commodities, that is also at the highest price, which is one of the highest inflation, which is having the highest inflation rate there across the nations. So our inflation is 10 percent, and the this is nowhere in other states. So we are still suffering this type of this harassment and the, by the negligence of the central government. And also we are experiencing that this, the state government is banning the internet. Still the internet is banning. Honorable Prime Minister has stated that India is in digital world and why our government and the central government banned internet services. All the services of the banking, business activities and other departments that is totally disturbed by this banning of internet services. This is also one of the major handicap of the entire people of Manipur. So whatever there the normalcy is not there, imposition of curfews now and then imposition of re-imposition of the armed forces special power act in the state this is also one of the problems that we are facing the people of Manipur are facing a lot and this harassment by these different organizations and the central forces that is also happening in addition with this unprecedented turmoil situation over there, we are facing different uh, disturbances from different angles. This is the people that we are, this is the civilians of India that we are facing in such a situation. Why the central government is coordinating with the state government? How long we are going to suffer in the union of India? How long whatever prime ministers will see the present unthermal situation over the United States. So, I lastly, I humbly request Honorable Prime Ministers on behalf of the TN political party in the Ablok team of Manipur and on behalf of the entire people of Manipur, please visit once to Manipur and within this month of December, it should not be, he should not think that this uh, within this within this December he should once visit to Manipur we will we will the people of, think, of Manipur thinking that if once honorable prime ministers visit in Manipur then the situation can stop the the violence can stop the people of Manipur feel that if once prime ministers visit once in Manipur he can meet all these MLS, or including the ruling and the opposition, and also uh, he can stop the present violence there in Manipur. And also the people of Manipur think that India is a very strong uh, country and very powerful in the armed forces. 
why such, such a long time honorable prime minister is not intervene properly and not stop the present violence and it is going to complete 19th month this is the this is the this is what the people of manipur think and the still the expectation is there by the people of manipur that honorable prime minister will stop this violence and he can stop this violence and we are waiting to visit once there in manipur thank you friends so our one of the professor of jnu is he want to say something on manipur okay yes hello thank you friends and our honorable residents thank you friends and uh, my regards to our honorable manipur pradesh congress president k megachandra and convener k h santa and our colleagues so we a sections of the people of this nation a small state of the india have been suffering for this bahal and for this crisis for the last one and ninth month and it is very unfortunate in the similar way the people of this nation are also say, saying that what is happening in manipur is unfortunate but the question is how seriously they took what is happening and what has been happening in manipur and the people of manipur are also people of this country and people of manipur are having the same crisis the same suffering that people of the gujarat have uh, uh, had in 2002 when uh, gujarat riot was happening when the present prime minister of this country was the chief minister of gujarat the same thing was happening but the difference between what happened in gujarat and what is happening in manipur is the gujarat crisis was resolved in 3 days but why this must prolong is happening in manipur are we not a citizen of this country we are also indian so what i am trying to say is what is happening in manipur is not just a communal crisis it is more than that so we would like to appeal to every citizen of this country they need also they also need to condemn what is happening in manipur people are dying people are killing and at this such situation as a situation the indian state remain as a silent observer therefore we started asking ourselves how long i should claim that i am an indian we are also an indian we are proud of indian but the role of this state the role responsibility of the state is to protect the life and liberty of the every citizen of this country why the indian state remains silent when people are dying people are killing in manipur so we are also indians we would like to appeal to the indians that please try to protect the in, uh, integrity of the manipur territorial uh, uh, territorial in, uh, te integrity uh, territorial integrity of the manipur we are also indian so do please stop playing divide and rule policy in manipur this must i just want to express to all of you thank you yeah. thank